where a Canadian work permit or study permit or even visa application has been refused, one of the options available to the applicant is to apply for a reconsideration of the decision. But the question is, do reconsideration requests actually work? And the answer is yes, they do work, uh, provided that there's actually something to be reconsidered and assuming that the officer's decision was uh, incorrect. Welcome back. My name is Donovan Francis. I'm a Canadian immigration lawyer at Goose Law Immigration, where we help businesses with their employees' uh, work permit applications and save them from all of the legal hassles surrounding those immigration applications. In this video, we want to talk about a case study of a client for whom we submitted a reconsideration request and that client was able to have their um, refused work permit application overturned. So in this case, the client had applied for a Canadian work permit, but the application had been refused. And so where an application is refused, the applicant typically has a number of options. One of those options is going to be applying for reconsideration of the decision. Now reconsiderations work where there is, um, it is very evident that the officer who issued the refusal may have overlooked something. You know, there, were, there was an obvious mistake, an obvious error on the decision maker's part. Um, so in those kinds of circumstances, you know, a reconsideration is simply, you know, gathering the facts and uh, reaching out to the immigration authorities and saying, hey, thanks for reviewing my application. However, we believe that there was an oversight, you know, there was a mistake because of the following reasons and you provide a reason and you wait for them to come back to you. All right. And hopefully that uh, response is going to be favorable. In the case of our client, um, the client uh, was uh, so uh, pleased with how everything turned out that they offered to provide us with um, their feedback online. And so here we see where the, the, this particular client outlines uh, the experience, you know, um, when their uh, work permit, when his work permit was initially refused by the immigration authorities and um, he was um, asked to leave. Uh, Canada after the decision and um, he realized that the decision was erroneous and after searching for us and, and being put on to us he reached out uh, to us and uh, one of the lawyers on the team was able to help him right and um, he was surprised <laughs> when the reconsideration request was approved and he got his work permit in a very short time. And that's the other thing. So if the reconsideration request is justified, you know, then it can be a very quick process. You know, you, we typically gather all of the information. We put an email uh, together, you know, with um, arguments as to why the application needs to be reconsidered and we send it off to the immigration authorities and we wait to hear back. And sometimes the response can be in a matter of days, sometimes it can be in a matter of weeks. And we've had instances where we've never heard back, you know, but in most instances you hear back. And if the reconsider reconsideration request is reasonable and um, there is a, a basis for um, the application to be approved and for the initial refusal to be overturned, then that's done. Or the officer who is assessing the reconsideration request may conclude that the original decision to refuse the applications should stand. And in, in such circumstances, a reconsideration request isn't going to change the final decision. All right. So I trust that uh, this case study would have helped you to have a clearer understanding of how the reconsideration process works and that you would have gotten some value from this video. So as always, please go ahead and like this video so that others may see more videos like this. Subscribe to our channel and check us out on go.gooselaw.com. Thanks, see you again.